All right, you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> Welcome home, Rep Pack. It's your boy, King Reptar here, back with another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and if you guys are, you know the drill. Speed test flip. It's about to get a whole lot faster and a whole lot brighter rep pack because your boy is here today. I have a very, very special video I'm extremely excited to film. If you guys are new here on this channel, we do a lot of honestly really crazy stuff. <laughs> Probably a little, well, I go by a title here, professional moron, all right? <laughs> so you get a little reckless on this channel. We're gonna be testing out our ability doing that reckless shit. And not just that, our speed at it. With this right here, this right here is a speed radar gun. This can be used for lacrosse, it can be used for baseball, it can be used for tennis. And what they use it for is to actually catch the speed of whatever they're doing. So if it's a world-class pitcher, they wanna know exactly how fast their fastball is before they go out in the field to see how it compares with their competitors. So for example, if I take the baseball like this and throw it. Well, that can't be good. Yeah, yeah but they hit the wall. <laughs> 12 miles is a lot of impact. <laughs> so that was 12 miles per hour. That is no world class pitcher pitch. Some of the fastest pitchers in baseball can go over 100 miles per hour. Neither of us are professional baseball players here, but hey, man, I am known for making anything throwable. That's for damn sure. Are you trying to get clocked and you just didn't work or? That's weak. It's faster than the ball. Yeah, you, you just tossed it. <laughs> so today we're going to be testing out which of us has the strongest pitch for one, but we're not going to be using this guy for regular baseballs, tennis balls, that kind of stuff. We're going to be testing it out with weapons. We're going to be seeing how fast when I throw a throwing knife, does that knife actually travel to get that depth to get into the wood or through a target? And not just that, we're going to turn up a notch because like I said, we get a little reckless here. We're going to be trying out with slingshots, we're going to be shooting some stuff, we're even going to be using some big arrow launchers that may be kind of famous on this channel and testing out exactly how fast does this stuff go. And for those of you guys that know about the speed type of test, this is not a chronograph, which is a lot of people use chronographs for like guns, air rifles, stuff like that. The problem with the chronograph is it's all a triangular shape and you have to make every projectile go through those and then metal rods read it, which makes it kind of hard to test things like a throwing knife that might go a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, or for example, the speed of a strike on a katana, which we're going to be testing today to see how fast we are doing these reckless things. Anyway, without further ado, let's speed this up and let's get outside. I don't understand, what, what's the point of all That's this? That's called primal hunting right there. Primal hunting? Yeah, I've been working on my precision, my accuracy with our sponsor today. Who's that? Hunting Clash. With our sponsor, Hunting Clash, a free to play game available on iOS and Android. It's a perfect way for you to kill time and also bring the outdoors indoors. Test your ninja skills and also your awareness out in the wild, and I'm not talking about the backyard, I'm talking about out in the wilderness hunting. But here's how the game works. Travel across the world exploring different locations with the most realistic graphics you've ever seen. Not a joke. Seriously, I was jaw dropped as soon as I opened the app and saw the beautiful landscape. But you start in Montana, you can explore the desert, the jungle, and even the northern lights of Lapland. Plus, you get to decide what you hunt, and there's dozens of different animals to choose from, and a huge catalog of weapons, and I'm pretty sure we've used all of these different types of weapons here on the channel at some point in time. And as you progress, you can upgrade these weapons, train a hunting dog, and take part in weekly competition and events to develop your shooting skills and your hunting abilities. The competitors among you will be thrilled since you can compete in duels with others online. When going head to head with others, it's always good to have a companion with you to make sure you invite a friend. And now Hunting Clash has a gift just for the rep pack. Redeem the code ADHD. You receive a free starter pack of a total of $15 in value, 100 gold, 70 skill tokens, two mythical lure cards. So thank you so much to Hunting Clash for sponsoring this video. Again, guys, the app is free on iOS and Android. Go ahead and download the game, click the link in the description down below. Click my link, I would greatly appreciate that. And I know you guys are gonna love the app. Anyway, on with the video. You ready to go out there? See if your uh, soft balls are as soft as you say they are? Okay, first off, that was confidential. But second, I mean, there wasn't like a like a box that came in or like, it's just kind of open like that? Like um, they, that's how they sold it in the store? I and mean, that's why the intro is kind of quick. We're gonna go outside because it was already open. I really, it almost looked like somebody was using it before us, but I'm not really too worried about it. It works, but you never know. There might be some kind of unboxing emergency needs. Unboxing knife! Just in case. Look at it. It's beautiful. Get your hands off me. Doesn't change the beauty of it. Honestly, it kind of does. It's a lot more enjoyable without your hand on my shoulder. Yep, back to being unpleasurable. 
Okay, I'm gonna stay right here. But this is what I found. I found it on the table. I don't know what it does. I think they're gonna use it tomorrow. Unboxing knife. 150. Okay, well that was crazy. It caught the speed of it or something. I, I thought this was your Spotify. Did you see that? Did you see that? Did you see that? I'm right next to you. I absolutely saw it. I saw it before you saw it. All right, then well, how about we have a little test? You know, I'm pretty light on my feet. Let's see how fast you are, Mr. Oblek. If you touch me one more time, I'm gonna push all this oblek down to your spleen. Please, please do. But I'll do your speed test. I'll take God's test. All right, you gotta chill out a little bit. Just, just test your speed. That, that's it. God's test. You ready for this? Did you go? Yes, I did. Damn it! You didn't see me go. Did you hear the thing say it? No, I was, I was kind of baffled. You, you didn't fucking move. So I mean, okay, let's, let's do it again. Inconceivable. That thing speaks Spanish. I didn't even what. Go over there, stay there, then come back. Cause I, I can't believe this. What the? I did not stay over there. I did stay over there. I just picked up a cup of Joe along the way. This is in French. Yeah, Paris is nice this time of year. Okay, move back. Let me get a try at it. All right, here we go. Come on, let's do it. All right, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. What the? Wow! Seven. Seven miles an, an hour. That's not gonna impress nobody. Let's try it again. Sixty-nine. Okay, okay. Sixty-nine miles per hour. Perfect, just like my IQ. Okay, now you do that thing you did again, but I'm gonna stand right here. If you feel any resistance, just keep pushing. Okay guys, so we're out here, we're doing our first category, which is gonna be outside. So we already did running, and I got the first point. Oh, I didn't even realize we are competing. I would've tried harder. <laughs> no, I would've gotten, I would hit that 26 mile an hour, you know? <laughs> no, we are competing to see who can get into the speed force, okay? Oh, we are, okay. Whoever wins this competition goes down as the guide of speed. You're already ice king and fire king, so I gotta get something, you know? But we're gonna be trying our first stop here with the pitch to see who has the fastest pitch. Then right after that, I'm gonna be doing some knife throwing to see if that actually changes anything with the aerodynamics of the ball. We're gonna be using a softball just because well, that's what they had at the store and then not just that. I feel like it's gonna be easier for this machine to read it. Okay, so here's how it works. For example, we have to keep it below the bullseye and above the table. So you throw the ball and boom, it clocks your speed. For this example, I got 17 miles per hour. I mean, that's pretty good for a little granny throw right there. But also, <laughs> let's just put this on the record. I got 20 miles per hour in my run and the fastest man on the planet got 26.7. To be fair, he actually got like 27 okay, points 27, but that's not that far off, okay? It's not, okay. What I'm saying is, is if me and you see boat were in a race, <laughs> <laughs> if they had a wide angle fish eyed lens and they were taking a picture of him, you might see me in the back with my finger <laughs> going like this. But let's see if I'd be in the MLB with these pitches. Yeah, I would be surprised if either of us get over 60. 60? I don't know. I've never done this before. So let's I mean, see we're grown that. men. We, we, we <laughs> should aspire to a, a past 60. All right. Usually in the MLB, they're like 80, 90, 100 miles per hour. So let's go ahead and try this out. Parker, you're going first. Here's your target right here. What the hell? Yeah, I would not want to mess with this guy. He seems juvial, like he's laughing and he's having fun. But look at that finger. He's just... He's, he's just, just disrespecting me. Yeah, and he says, missed me. Like, he already assumed I missed. Yeah, so every single time you miss, you have to read that. I might not be the most accurate, but I'm powerful. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not so erasable. Oh, he actually is permanent marker. He's very permanent. All right, so we have the target centered. Parker's got the softball, three ball. Let's see what he clocks in at. And not just that, the main rule is you only get counted for the actual impact of the target. So if you throw one, over here and it went to, I don't know, 100, doesn't matter. If it goes to 100, I better be scouted. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? Send me deals. But if you hit the target and you only got 70, that's your clocking score because that's your mm. accurate highest speed. This is a softball, by the way, people. Yeah. Just, this is different. So we're doing it from right here. Okay. Let's see, let's go and mark this spot. Right there. Jesus, what if you stab my foot? I'm not gonna, yeah. <laughs> from right here. Okay. I feel like I'm at, like, I'm being bamboozled at a carnival right now. <laughs> There's no trick to it. Just see how fast you are, son. You get over a 80, we'll get you any prize on the board. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, Parker's pulling up his pants, so you know that means that he's getting hot. It's hot. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna get squared in right here, and Parker's gonna do his first throw. Go ahead and give it your throw. Three, two, one, hit it. Oh, Jesus Christ, you nailed that, and you didn't even get a recorded score of 46. You got 46. I, I can do better. <laughs> Mitchell played a slow mo. You got 46. Let's see if you can break 50. I told you. You were like, oh, 60? We're grown men. We're grown men. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, that's a hard. That's I'm hard. Because you see these MLB people, they got the they got the dirt. They got yeah. the dirt to put on. They got the, the bag of spin. No, it's hard to throw that fast. Oh. 52. <laughs> What's happening? 
<laughs> oh, he's pulling his pants up even further. I have so much calf to reveal, it's insane. <laughs> because the first time that was just playing around. Now he's in serious <laughs> pet calf exposure. Oh, you smacked his lips. Okay, so do you want to count the 47 or do you want to go for it again? I feel like now that I have a little bit a little bit of accuracy on my side, I'm gonna, I'll go a couple more tries. Okay, so he did hit the target though, so we would count that typically. And it didn't break this, but at the end of the day, it is a softball, so maybe it's just not gonna break it. I'll try to do it with something else later, if not. Oh my God. Oh, what'd that clock in at? All right, I can't just let him disrespect you like that. You gotta break I, this. I, I, I can't let him either, but it's possible. <laughs> All right, Parker still needs to break that guy, and then not just that. He thinks he could do it fast with the baseball. So I let's think see. An official, see, like this says official league. So I'm thinking like official speeds. <laughs> That's official <a> bull <laughs> for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh! You want me to do the honors for you and take this guy down as a friend? I need to fight my own battles. <laughs> No matter how bad I lose. <laughs> Missed me. I'm hitting, you're just really bouncy. <laughs> yeah, quack you, buddy. Hey, he's going down. Oh. What the <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> you want me to hit you? I'm wild. Oh, quack. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, well. Someone was about to get hit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I know, but you got him pretty good. He's just, he's a strong dude. He's a strong dude. Well, I chipped his tooth a little bit. That's gonna be a hefty dental bill. Yeah, but frank you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't kill me. You yeah, scratched your Tesla. Who's gonna be to have the bigger bill? <laughs> yeah, I can go to the dentist. You gotta go to frank <laughs> Elon. <laughs> Yeah, I'm still here. I'm still here. You can't kill me. I can't I'm kill him. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm gonna kill him. Watch. You just you watch. Yeah. Oh, you knocked my hat off. The back of my head. <laughs> oh, you missed me. <laughs> Oh my head! <laughs> I hit my head with my hat! <laughs> the most annoying perp ever. <laughs> yeah, frank you buddy. <laughs> <laughs> guy is tough and his ridicule is just terrible. <laughs> his ridicule is relentless. <laughs> yeah. Man, I hate this guy. Oh. You gotta let me take this guy out for you. I need to like, punch him with a glove or something. <laughs> it's, just, it's just getting to me. <laughs> if he doesn't take you out, I'm gonna take you out. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm so scared. And I'm not gonna die. <laughs> oh, my freaking <laughs> head. <laughs> you were just three inches taller. <laughs> you did break it. Do you want to count that? I'm only damaged, but I'm still here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's the epitome of mockery. <laughs> you know, oh, you can only break my head. <laughs> I'm not impressed by these numbers. Anymore. I'm impressed by this guy's death. I'm still here after your brief interruption. Oh, sorry to interrupt you. Is there any way I could actually uh, switch jobs with this guy? Um, I, mean, I know we haven't talked too much about, you know, our roles here, but would you get out of here? Oh, like that would have bursted his freaking nuts. We freaking hate you. Oh, you hate me. You can't stand me. I'm the longest living character that's ever been on this side of the blade. I don't know, man. Thank you. I should save a little bit of energy for the next test. What do you think? I do. I mean, I think you could do it, but you don't want to burn yourself out and then you're slow in the other rounds and you have no opportunity to become the speed guy. There's always opportunity in this great land of America. <laughs> Especially when people like this get their teeth shut in. Well, I'm not from here, so <laughs> it doesn't matter. You haven't noticed my accent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh! Yeah! Let's go! Quack that dude! Let's go! You stupid Quack. bitch! Yeah! You Quack. fucking dead Quack. bitch! Alright! I was at a 52! <laughs> and the slow mo! <laughs> but at least we got it on this one. The slow mo! No. The slow mo reached its maximum speed, guys, so we missed the slow mo, but it is okay. At least we got the main shot and we did get him killed. I don't know why, I'd make myself look a lot better. <laughs> so the whole point of the slow mo, the reason why we're a little upset about the slow mo, being off is that was mainly there I mean just so we could see
see this clock because we can't see it from down there or hear it when something's breaking. But you said you saw 52. Okay, I, I know how this looks. That was the fastest this, speed of all the throws you've done. I, I, my, my fastest I clocked was 53. Okay, okay. So when I looked, because I, that was my that was my habit, I threw it, I looked at my thing, and I just went to go get the ball because I missed. <laughs> we did that for a while. But it's my habit to look at the thing. I clocked at 52. <laughs> and you've seen it at 53. Yeah. So you believe me. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, I'll say 52. Yeah. So we're going with 52 for his score. Let's I'm, see if you can beat. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now well, it looks like it's my turn. I'm just a cool bear with a hat. And she I'll, says yo. <laughs> and I'll be here all day for you, Marcus. Take your time. Unwind and unwind the ball into my face. <laughs> Why do I get the <laughs> asshole? I don't know. He just showed up. He's just so cool. Damn. Looks like he'd say like, it's okay, Marcus. Some people just get the short end of the stick. Some people are born the pitcher. Some people are born the, the things to be pitched at. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I guess I feel kind of bad killing this guy. I don't know. He seems like he's got a, like a famous cousin or something he can hang with once he dies. <laughs> he looks, yeah, he looks like Rich was an icy guy. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay. I'm very curious because you you have more experience throwing, like just genuinely, generally throwing. Yeah, but I have no clue like what that applies to as far as like I have, with the baseball. I have no clue. I'm just gonna go as hard as I possibly can on the first time, not worry about accuracy. Yeah, and that's what I, I did. Yeah, and then I'll probably like, you hone in slowly. All right. Speed God, let's go. All right, here we go. Ready? Three. Two. 51. Hey, so okay. Much faster. Yeah. I've got to get 53 and hit it to win. Baby, really? Fifty-five. Damn. Let's hit it off. Let's finish him. Hey, man, I was being chill. You just hit my cool hat off. <laughs> you gotta finish me off. <laughs> you hit me from the back, but like behind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, though. So. And that was good. And that was quick. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Is that what that's like? I got it in like four throws or three throws to hit it, but that was 55 at the max. I'm glad that I got the highest on the hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I'm curious as to what your, like, without accuracy out the window, what your fastest thing is, because that was 55. It. Now that that's gone, I don't think I'll have to worry about it anymore. Just go for it. You're not on camera, but just go ahead and toss it. Whoa! That was 57. I think I could get 60 with enough tries. But we're I gonna go ahead and move on to the next thing. Let's go ahead and see what we've got next, guys. We're gonna try this out with a slingshot. And see how much faster that goes than us. Okay, guys. So I did take the second point for the speed test. We still have another one and maybe even a little surprise round at the end. But we're gonna go ahead and shoot this tennis ball with a slingshot just because I'm curious. We want to see how fast this thing will launch compared to our throws. 64. What? 64. <laughs> that was just like a light pullback, dude. That just shows you how much more velocity you get with that versus your hand. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty insane. Let's see if we can break 70 with this. Ooh. Oh, there. So that was the tennis ball we got 68. Let's try something a little smaller. 72. <laughs> And that was with the slingshot. So when those MLB pitchers are throwing like 90, 100 miles per hour, their arms are literally lethal weapons. Yeah. So we're gonna be passing hopefully 100 miles per hour today though. And that's gonna be somewhere along this video, so do not miss it. Next thing we're gonna be trying out is our actual slash speed using the sword as well. So we're gonna see how fast is an actual withdrawal and strike with the sword. And that's gonna be our last speed test. Still things start to get a little bit ridiculous. Okay guys, so we're gonna be trying it out with the Kanai and we're going to see how fast this goes just for a little bonus test. Let's see it. That was as fast as I could probably get it, so it's about 20, 25. So that just shows you, like, man, how much more lethal that is for, like, half the speed, though. Like, if someone was accurate with that thing at 50 miles an hour, oh, my God. I feel like we should just incorporate this in other videos in the future just for fun. If it's applicable. Yeah, if it's applicable, I think we definitely should. You guys let me know in the comments down below. Let's try out the Katana test. All right, for our next test, we're going to be doing a speed withdrawal test. So let's go ahead and do it. We haven't set this downward because it's usually passing objects. So how we're going to do it is we're going to strike right over it. So that was eight miles per hour. That was just kind of a little tester there. And you have to hit your target. So if you hit your target and you clock in, that's your score. It's going to be recorded. Let's see who wins. I'll be going first this time. Go on. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> All right. You ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Three, two, one. 
16. 16. Chopped a little, you scalped it a little bit. Yeah. Okay, I'll let you have a second try if I get a second try. How about we get three strikes to see, and we will pick our max? I was going to give you the second try, bro. You don't got to negotiate. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't get 18. Come on. Dude. I don't have my belt on, so it's a little harder, too. 17. 17. There we go. So 17 that was good. is where I clocked out at. And I think all three of my my strikes were pretty good. They were they were very good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so. <laughs> so what you're about to see next is not going to be good. But let's see if you can max out on the speed. Okay. All right. So 17 is the score to beat. And I hit all three times. There's no deductions for missing. Let's see what Parker's got. <laughs> all right. Is that 15 without trying? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Here we go. Three, two, one. 16, dude. He's got the same score as me. That's pretty damn good. All right, I think you can get 17. I wouldn't be surprised if you can get 18. Let's see what we got here. Three, two, one. There we go. 17. See, I think what it is is because, like, your strength, it kind of balances out with the lack of training. Like, I think, like, I think there's not a question that you're hitting harder than I am. But the thing is, is that my, like, practice has made me more efficient. Yeah. So no. it kind of balanced out. Yeah, for me it's just like reckless power versus like very precise efficiency. Yeah, it's so like I think it's balanced result. out. <laughs> yeah, that's freaking sick though. So how I'll do we take break my this? Try. I know, but how do we do the tiebreaker? Well, Unless you get, get yeah, 18. if you get 18 and there's no tiebreaker, let's see what we got here. You know the rule. Oh shit! The pants have been pulled up. 21! Oh, 12. That was 21! Oh, that was 21! I read it as 12 because I was like, <laughs> like, is that real? I think that was 21. And I hit it! Alright, well, Parker won the speed round of the swords. That's two versus one. We got one more round, and if you don't win it, it's, it's over. I'm pretty satisfied with this one. I know, that was freaking sick! Hell yeah, I feel like I could do anything. <laughs> Alright, so let's clean the sword up, and then we're gonna get into our next category, and we're gonna be turning up quite a bit. Alright guys, we're gonna be trying the Umarex T42, and that's because this thing as a blunt object like projectile so if we were to use a bullet or rifle this thing wouldn't even capture the speed and also be too small but these things have a pretty round round that's about the size of a marble let's see if this thing get us close to 100 i know something for sure that'll break 100 by the end of this all right so the what was the what was the slingshot slingshot was like 70 yeah top that around there 90. That was 90. <laughs> 90. all right so we got 90. i'm just gonna shoot a couple let's we'll see what the max is out at 90. 90. Consistency. 83. Damn. So this is a CO2 based gun, so you can see as the air release, it gets weaker and weaker. But we're at 90. I think we can break past 100 for sure by the end of this. Okay, all right. Okay, so we're gonna do one more speed test. Let me set it up, and how we're gonna decide this is I'm technically winning, okay? Right. I got two points, you got one. Right. If we can guess, speed isn't all about physicality, it's about mental too. Yeah, physics. If you can guess how fast the next item is, both of us, then that'll count as a point. And if I don't really, I didn't really plan for if we tie, so. <laughs> <laughs> I just assumed you'd win, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. So let's set this next one up. This has got to do it. Bruh, that's <laughs> crazy. If you guys are new to this channel, we use this. This is called the Airbow. We've used it for so many different things. This is not the Benjamin Airbow, though. This is the Umarex Air Saber, which has roughly the same power as the Airbow. This one was just charged and the other one's not. So we're using this one today. The question is, fastest serve in the entire world of the tennis balls on screen right now. Can this thing break it? Okay. And if not, okay. can we guess how fast it's going to go? Okay. Roderick Federer couldn't even do yeah, this. Yeah, all right. I like the idea. I like it. Yeah. Okay, first question. What's the max that thing can clock? 180. Okay. You think it'll max it? That's the air bolt. I know, but it's a lot of kinetic energy. Kinetic energy. Yeah, it's a lot of weight. It's not aerodynamic as an arrow either. I'm gonna call I'm gonna call 150, buck 50. Under our over rules? Closest. I, I thought it was just closest, was just closest that's, no matter yeah, what. I think that's just the unanimous ADHD's rules at this point. <laughs> On all channels. Okay, so if I pick 40, that doesn't give us a lot of under over room. So I feel like I gotta go with 130. I don't Ooh. think it's gonna be that slow. Okay, all right. Or maybe it will be. Maybe it will be. Maybe it'll be one, maybe it'll max out and I'll win. Yeah, think about that. I'm just on this one doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go with 135. Aw, okay, all right. 135, so 135, Parker's got 150. So that Let's means if it's wins. 142, I think it's you, it's 143, I think it's me, something like that, yeah. roughly. All right, here we go, so go get your shield up. I told 
told you. I told what? you. What? 105? <laughs> that tennis ball would be in your body. Dude, that reduced it <sighs> so much. Yeah, but I mean, the thing is, this is an arrow at the end of the day, so we just went straight through this. This would have been a tennis ball at 100 miles per hour, probably just bounced off really, really hard. This is what really sank it through, you know? True, but damn, I can't believe that. Yeah, That's want... the air bow. So, I am the speed god. All For right, the judgments all right. of speed, and speed thyself. <laughs> You know what though? I think that was I think that was well earned. Yeah, that was a really good competition, and it was a lot of fun too. I really love this new device. Okay, so we did break 100. I told you we were gonna break 100 today, but Parker thinks that the bear bow would be able to go faster. I'm telling you, it's not about it's because it's a tennis ball. If it was an arrow, I'm saying yeah, maybe 200. But the tennis ball slows it down so much. Oh, I know that. But I'm saying that's better than that one. We'll see. We're gonna find out. We'll find out unequiv unequivocally today what is stronger, the air bow or the Umarex. If it goes faster than one, what was it, one five? 105. So we got 105 to beat. The airbow was so fast, it shot out of the tennis ball, and the tennis ball's all that got recorded. And it was still 97. <laughs> That's incomprehensible power, and you know it. Literally in the air, the ball, I told you, because that ball slows it down so much, that literally the arrow was able to keep moving faster than the pull, the drag on the air. The drag <laughs> of the air was enough to scrape the ball off the arrow. That thing's amazing. <laughs> Like, there's no question what's what's stronger, dude. This one oh went my. into the white. Did it go all the way through? Oh my. Oh! <laughs> it took us so long to make this. I, I think we should probably uh, stick with the air bow instead of the Umarex. That power. Power. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Undeniable. I don't even know if we can test that out again. If you guys enjoyed this video, please, guys, make sure you guys hit that like button. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. It helps out the channel so much. More than you know, I would greatly appreciate it. And also, check out this video screen right here, which is the last epic video on this channel. You guys do not want to miss. There's been new videos every single week, so if you haven't seen them, make sure you guys go check them out. You don't want to miss the next ones, but it's always Rep Pack. I will see you beautiful people in the next one. Adios. Bloop. And before we finish this video up, I want to say thank you one more time to Hunting Clash for sponsoring this video. You guys know the sponsors on this channel are what make these videos possible. So I'm so thankful to them and also thankful to you guys for clicking the link down below in the description.